Okay, uh, our objective for our experiment is firstly we to we need to de determine the natural frequency from the experiment data and compare with theoretical natural frequency. Second one, we need to define the re the relationship between natural frequency and mass. Third one, we need to determine the decay rate for different mass for single degree of force vibration system. Hi, my name is Omo A.D. Broccoli, MA10035. Okay, first of all, we want to make the instrument to synchronize with the DESI lab. First of all, we, was, we open the measurement and automation, and then click the data neighborhood and NID IQ task. We create the new NID IQ task. Click accurate signal and analog input. We choose voltage as a FDT uh, only detect the voltage value. We choose uh, the signal AI0 and AI1 as our signal and then we name our voltage as group number 2. And then we try run the simulation <laughs> okay as the, we can see right now is the graph is already functional right and then we confirm that all the system is run smoothly and then we save the task. After we save the task in the measurement and automation, we open the DESI lab and synchronize the NIDAQ with the map configuration. Click OK after the task is synchronized. And then uh, we choose NIDAQ right here and click analog input to connect it with the raw data okay for our first objective to determine the natural frequency so we use three type of mass uh, which is 100 gram 300 gram and 500 gram as an example for apparatus setup we use uh, 100 gram to demonstrate our first objective then we put the mass uh, below the motor and tighten it with a screw then we start the button and control the speed of motor then uh, the beam start to vibrate in y, y direction objective we need to determine the decay rate for different mass so we using same mass 100 gram to demo how we get the decay rate graph we apply we put 100 gram below the motor and let the beam at equilibrium position and do not switch on the switch then we apply force at the beam using hand at fixed position we release and the beam vibrate in y direction Lastly, we can see the graph at Desi Lab by module recorder that show how decay rate moving after we release the beam. Then we repeat the previ previous step using 300 gram and 500 gram. That's all. My name is Nasi Tisla Habitamin, MA10042. I would like to talk about result and calculation. Okay, this is a calculation for 
uh, first objective. First objective is to determine the natural frequency from the experiment data and compare with the theory theoretical natural frequency. This is our table. Mass theoretical natural frequency, experimental natural frequency, and percentage of error. We have three mass. This is a sample calculation for mass equal to 100 gram. Mass of bin equal to 1082.5 gram. Length of bin equal to 100 centimeter. Thickness of bin 4.63 mm. Width of bin 24.97 mm. Mass of motor equal to 1828.5 gram. And total mass for mass, mass of bin and mass of motor is equal to 3.011 kilogram. Okay. Next, we calculate moment of inertia. Um, formula for moment of inertia is 1 equal to 1 over 12 bhq. We, we substitute a uh, value of b and h, we get 2.065 times 10 to the, to the power of negative 10. Next, we calculate stiffness of beam, k. k equal to 192 ei over length uh, q. Okay, substitute uh, the a value of E, 200 times 10 to the power of 9 and value of moment of initial, 2.065 times 10 to the power of uh, negative 10 over 1 to the power of uh, 1 cube. We get 7.9 to 9.6. Okay, next, we calculate natural frequency, W0. W0 is equal to set K over M. Value of K, 7 929.6 over mass value of mass 3.011 and we get 51.32 radian per second. This is for theoretical value. Next, we move to experiment, experimental value that we get from the Z lab. For mass equal to 100 gram, we get amplitude equal to F equal to 10.74 hertz. Okay, we Substitute into uh, formula W0 equal to 2 pi F. 2 pi F, F equal to uh, uh, substitute uh, value of F 10.74 and we get 67.48 radian per second. And then we calculate the percentage of error. Uh, the formula of percentage of error is theoretical value minus experiment value over theoretical value uh, times the 100. And we get the percentage of error 31.49%. Um, Hello, my name is Nurhamsha Binti Sarin, MA10069. Today I would like to uh, explain about introduction about our experiment. The experiment is about first uh, vibration in a single degree of freedom system. First vibration means when the dynamic system is subjected to a steady state harmonic acceleration. From this experiment, we decided to determine the natural frequency from the experiment and um, with that, from the experiment data and compare it with theoretical natural frequency. And the second objective is we would like to determine the relationship between natural frequency and mass. And for the third objective is we would like to determine the decay rate of for different mass for single degree of force without vibration system. Okay, to do the uh, to do okay. to do the experiment, we use the Desilab software to collect the data and prove our experiment by comparing it with the theoretical of force vibration. In this experiment, we use the linear variable differential transformer LVDT. As the sensor for measuring the linear yes, objective, we would like right. to determine the decay rate for different mass for single degree of freedom force vibration system. Okay. Um, from the table, uh, we have mass 100 uh, gram, 300 and 500 gram. And this is our decay rate, damping ratio and damping frequency that we get from our calculation. For sample calculation, from the uh, cell graph, the value for 100 gram mass decay rate is um, negative 0 0.506 and for 100 mass, uh, for mass we get 0 0.1 kilo 
Limping coefficient is negative 0 0.506 and K you get from our calculation which is 7929.6 For limping coefficient, this is the uh, equation which is a uh, limping coefficient is equal to C over 2M For C is, um, we substitute the equation and we get the value negative 0 0.1012 and for critical damping, uh, the equation is 2 times um, third km. And we substitute the equation and we get um, 56.32. For damping ratio, our uh, equation is damping ratio equal to C over C, CR, critical, and uh, we get the value is negative 0 0.00179 which is uh, under them because uh, damping ratio is less than 1 and for experiment data we get uh, damping uh, natural frequency is um, 967.58 radian per second uh, and damping frequency is uh, 67.48 radian per second